Hello and welcome to another Rust Locker video. Today I'm going to be working on the MX-5 and I've got myself a Cobra Clubman bucket seat. I'm going to be fitting that and uh, also I'm going to fix the issue of my courtesy light not coming on when the passenger door opens. So let's crack on and get some stuff done. Okay, so the first job is going to be to get the old seat out, which it should be fairly straightforward. I'll show you why. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the whole thing out, including the runners, because I've got the adapter plates to fit the new seat to the standard MX-5 runners. So it's just two bolts there at the back, and then slide in the chair back. Two bolts here at the front, I believe. So let's do that first to get this seat out and then, uh, then we can see what we've got to do with the adapter plates. Okay, so by sliding the uh, runners left and right, I've uh, located the bolts that are holding the frame to the seat. So we can undo these. Okay, that one's a bit more of a pain because it's the locking mechanism. But we need to undo these bolts here and then that should come away from the seat. Four bolts holding the frame on and the two bolts at the side of the seat belt clip. And now we've got our slider out. Now I just need to get the adapter plates to fit the new Cobra seat to these sliders. Right so looking at the back of the seat here you actually can only just see fabric all the way down can't even find a bolt hole. Um, there are bolt holes in there but they just cover it over with fabric for some reason so what you need to do is actually run your finger down here down where the hard part of the rail is and you will eventually find a little divot there where it feels like there's a bolt hole. So much as I hate to do it, I'm going to have to rip a hole in the fabric to get to the bolt, bolt hole. And uh, the seats were supplied with these Allen type screws or bolts to fit the rails to. So definitely feels as though that bolt will go in that hole there. So I'm just going to have to rip the fabric there. So I've made a little hole where the bolt holes are and made sure that all of these Allen bolts will screw in. Okay, so I was being a bit of an idiot trying to line these up this way and the bolt holes don't line up. This actually goes this way around and then the holes do line up and then these two holes there will fit onto the factory sliders or the factory runners, whatever you want to call them, from the uh, MX-5. So I'm going to put these on like that. Right, I've got this lower bracket on no problem, that lined up perfectly. But this top one, or the back one rather, I can get one bolt in, but the other bolt just doesn't want to line up. So I think I'm going to have to do Just drill this hole out very, very slightly. A little bit there, just to give it a little bit of wiggle room to get that Allen bolt in. So these are going to be need to modify, but not very much. We just need to drill this hole out a little bit more, make that very, 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 very slightly bigger, only a couple of mil bigger. So I'm going to take them down to the shed and uh, see what we can do with it. Right, 
So with a bit of modification, I've now managed to get the two brackets on the bottom of the seat. So now I need to fit my stock slider to these brackets. Now the brackets came with uh, some quite thick spaces and uh, I'm not going to use those because it actually makes the driving height a little bit too high. So I'm going to undo those and take out the spaces again. Okay, so the next issue is if you don't use the spacers, then the bolt is too long for the uh, sliding mechanism and it actually ends up hitting the bolt. So I'm going to have to chop down the bolt, a few threads uh, on both the front ones. The rear ones sit okay, a little bit proud, but kind of works. So next thing I've got to chop down these bolts. Okay, I didn't have to cut down the bolts because I actually found some uh, some shorter bolts of the same size in my hardware collection. So I'm going to use these instead. Right, you want to make sure that the long part of the bolt is coming out of the top. Um, even with my shorter bolt there, you can see it's pressing on the fabric of the seat. But you definitely want the, the longest part of the bolt to be coming out of the top so that it's as flush as possible at the bottom there. Uh, I don't know if you can see too well but you want the clearance between the mechanism and the bolt there. Right, so next issue, as you can see, your courtesy light is not on and the passenger door is open. And this is the switch right here, which is obviously broken because if I go around the other side and open the driver's door, courtesy light comes on. So what I've got is uh, a replacement switch from MX5 parts and uh, it looks like it's going to be fairly simple to just unscrew this one and screw the new one in. Okay, well, seeing as we haven't got a courtesy light come on, it doesn't look like it is going to be that simple. Aha, just needed the screw in. Needed the screw in, I suppose, to uh, create a ground, and then it has started working. So that was the issue. As you can see, we've now got a courtesy light. If I push the switch in, courtesy light goes off, switch comes out, courtesy light comes on. Okay, nice and easy fix that. Right, so the seat's in and it's all settled and sorted, bolted down. I have got a couple of things to warn or tell you about if you're going to do something similar. So this is a Cobra Clubman seat with the uh, appropriate brackets. I just asked the shop if they could give me the right brackets to fit an MX-5. Cobra Clubman seat and using the stock rails for the slider mechanism. So there were a few issues. As you saw on the video I had to modify one of the brackets slightly and elongate the bolt hole just to uh, get the uh, allen bolts into the bottom of the seat. Another issue that I found was that um, the 
bolts that come with the spacers, you need to get rid of the spacers, that puts the seat too high. Once you get rid of the spacers, the bolts are then too long, which stops the uh, slider mechanism cruising through the groove, best way I can describe that. Um, so I used two other bolts which were thinner and smaller uh, for the fronts so that they, uh, they moved adequately and could fit in there. Um, now, now that the seat's in, I do have full sliding mechanism all the way forward. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in between the door card and the centre console. But I can go all the way forward and I can go all the way back. So I can get the correct driving position that I like. One issue is that now the slider, when you pull the handle up, stays up. So it doesn't quite lock into place. You actually have to then push the handle down and then that locks it in. So rather than a sort of a spring mechanism, it's more of a, a bolt locking mechanism. All right, mate. <laughs> right, sorry about that. Just had a delivery, more car parts. Okay, so what was I saying? Okay, so yeah, sliding mechanism works, but it's more of a lift it up to slide and then lock it down to put it in place. Uh, another issue is the seat belts. So there is a lot less room now that this seat is in for the seat belt and the seat belt holder or clip, what's it called? Receptacle? I don't know. But the seat belt is a little bit of a fiddle to get on and off. Now I know you're not even supposed to use these seat belts with a race seat like this. You're supposed to use a harness and that has been ordered and I will be fitting a four point racing harness to the uh, roll bar at the back and uh, that will cure that problem obviously because everything will be bolted in and the clip will be here in the middle. Hello this is me from the future and I'm just coming in to tell you that I forgot to mention something in the video and that is that the bucket seat does in fact raise your driving position slightly. Uh, I've been driving around in it the last couple of days and I'm not as happy with it as I was before. It's um, it's a very sort of bolt upright, um, slightly higher seating position than the standard seat. So what I'm going to probably try in the next couple of days is put in the spacers that came with the um, adaption bars at the front only so it sort of tips the seat a little bit backwards. Um, I'm going to try that. If that doesn't work and that's not ideal, then I may have to look at, in fact, bolting the seat directly to the floor somehow, just to bring me down by that few centimetres that it's uh, it's a little bit too high. And that does actually make all the difference with your driving position. So there are things to be tinkering away with, and um, this is not the end of the bucket seat saga by any means. I'm going to be playing with it a bit more in the coming days and weeks. It's a nice comfy seat, plenty of bolstering and uh, keeps you in nice and tight. Very comfortable, it's as comfortable as the uh, as the stock seats I would say. So I do recommend doing this if you are willing to put up with a little bit of uh, fiddling about with stuff. It's not a direct fit but it's as direct fit as, as you're going to get I think for putting an aftermarket seat in something something that's so small like an MX-5. So that'll do it for today. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like and a thumbs up and a comment if you've got any questions and I will catch you on the next one.